Okay, hello and welcome to this new tutorial and in this new tutorial we're going to learn how to make our own menu style so we're going to go to reset level, UGT main menu map if you don't find that there, don't worry we have that map in ultra game template, menus uh, sorry, ultra game template, maps, UGT main menu map okay and once we have this open opened what we're going to do is uh, we're going to play a little bit with the hood so for testing purposes what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go to ultra game template the foul game data asset fantastic and instead of minimal uh, hood i'm going to select the sci-fi because this is my favorite one but you could select any other okay here and as you know this is how you change the all the entire hood and interface and menus of your game but this is very important if you want to create your own style, uh, you could duplicate just one of these uh, or create one from your own extending from this one, okay? To keep things, uh, to keep things simple, uh, what I'm going to do is extend from sci-fi button style data asset and I'm just going to duplicate this one and I'm going to name it my uh, style. Very generic name, but it will do the work. So I'm going to click save all. And here, instead of sci-fi, I'm just going to choose my style. And of course, this is a copy. And as you will see, it is, it is exactly the same. So now we're going to go to the part where we actually change values from here. So if I go to menu style and I open this style, double left click. Here is where you have all the configuration that you need to do to set your menu right. So for example, one thing I could do is just changing the hovering material for my button. So instead of that, I could choose the, this one, which is a very thick one. And as you can see, it really is that, that easy. Now when I hover into a button, this is the new hover effect. Of course, it doesn't make any sense like that. So let's change the hover thing to something like that and let's uh, put it a little bit darker so the text can appear and as you can see now it makes a little bit more sense okay so that's one thing that i could actually change you can change everything you want you can change the button background you can change the style of the buttons which have arrows to the right and to the left to choose options you can change the sliders you can change anything you want okay i'm not going to go setting by setting because there are too many settings and most of them are self-explanatory just want you to know something that is very important as you can see in the sci-fi style uh, this button is short okay and this button it's now bigger but it doesn't have any stretching why it doesn't have any stretching because the buttons are actually drawn as boxes and we can configure that stretching with a button image margin. So instead of 0 0.07, if I put here at 0, as you will see now, my images will be stretched to the button. Now it's an image and it will be stretched to the size of the button. Um, why would be, this be preferable? Yeah, I don't really know, but it really depends on your style. Because, for example, in the brooch style, uh, we actually use these kinds of buttons that actually stretch because here it makes sense that them to be stretched, but in the sci-fi, it doesn't really make any sense, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, let's use again my style. And as you can see, we have two kind of buttons, okay? We have the normal button and we have the navigation buttons. What are the navigation buttons? So the navigation buttons are not these kinds of buttons. These are normal buttons and these are also normal buttons. The navigation buttons are actually the buttons that allow you to navigate through the menus. Uh, these usually are the reset buttons and the back buttons uh, down in each and every menu. So these are the navigation buttons. So reset to the fall, back, console video. Okay, these are the buttons. Okay. So again, let's continue. These are the navigation buttons. Let's go down a little bit. And many important things that you can do with your buttons. Of course, you can change the typography, okay? Each and every one of your fonts can be changed here, and these are also self-explanatory, but, and this is very, 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 very important. If you import a new font, okay, maybe that font doesn't have all the characters of all languages that your game is going to be localized. So, for example, your font doesn't have the localization character required for Russian or Korean or Arabic or, I don't know, any other language. 
that's why it's very important that once you import a new font, you actually open the font, okay? And then you have to set up a fallback font family. And I, obviously, you can uh, put here whatever font you want, but I already... Uh, I already packaged with UGT a font that has every character for every single language. Okay, and that's the UGT Roboto Regular. If you use this font here, you will make sure in the fallback font family that all the characters of all the languages in the world will be compatible with your game. So that's regarding the font. Then we have another very very big section for the backgrounds. Here you can decide different kind of backgrounds for your game in the main menu, in the pause menu. Maybe you want to blur the pause menu, maybe you don't. I don't know, that's something that it's up to you. We have another section, of course, for sounds, how the button sounds when the player is selecting, deselecting them, hovering through them, etc. Okay, and this is a very important one because as you can see, uh, if I go to controls, my controls are shown as uh, text. But if you want, that's up to you. You can actually display the controls and input images. And let me put the testing to computer so we can actually see keyboard and mouse menu. So right now, if I put here my inputs, they are not shown like, uh, like uh, text. They are shown like images. And of course, if I go to, uh, for example, Nintendo Switch, the correct images and text sizes obviously will be shown and if i go to cons sorry if i go to controls then the switch buttons will appear here and if i say uh, shit, i don't have the game the gamepad connected let's wait a little bit let's connect the gamepad and these images are actually re localize so okay we go to controls we say here press any and we say the air trigger or maybe i could use the left trigger or because i'm on switch let's go to c dial trigger okay and of course if i configure your this to playstation 4 that trigger won't be that one but instead it will be the correct playstation uh, playstation 4 button okay that's very 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 important finally what i want you to know about the button styles is um that the buttons can actually have animation okay if we say if in the details we search for animation we actually have play hover in a note animation and play button selected loop animation which is disabled by default in the sci-fi button style if we use the first one what it's going to do it's going to play a little animation every time you hover in a note of the button and as you can see the text setting is covering in, uh, it's uh, uh, offsetting a little bit to the right and then go coming back, okay? And if I use the second one, once I have a button selected, it's going to just make the button bigger and short, it's going to scale the button, all right? Of course, this one are totally compatible and you could select both of them, okay? So this is uh, amazing and this is something that really gives a lot of detail uh, and responsiveness to your menu. But how could you, could you change those animations? So the uh, part where you change those animations is in the Bluetooth blueprint itself. So let's go here. Let's open the content browser. Okay. And in Ultra Game Template, let's go to Menus. Then let's go to Widgets. And here we have the UGT button. Let's open this asset. Okay. And once the asset is loaded, it shouldn't take long. Here in Animation, we have the hover animation and as you can see it's a very simple animation okay and we have the selected loop animation which is the looping animation so again this animation is not looping this animation once you hover is going to go to the right and when you hover is going to go to the left and so for forward and backwards and this animation it is going to be played at, as a loop and here you could actually animate whatever you want any property of the button you could expose or anything you can imagine you can actually animate it here okay in both of these animations so you don't actually need to create new animations and assign these new animations to your buttons that is a very very simple way to add more functionality and more detail to your buttons without the effort of creating new blueprints or new functionality inside the buttons all right so that's really all. That's how you really create new uh, styles and assign them. As you can see, it's super easy. And that's all. So we're going to leave it here and see you in the next tutorial.